In today's video, we're going to check out the Easy Peelsy, a magnetic printing surface for your 3D printer. Is it any good? Do I recommend it? Let's get started. How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and this is the Easy Peelsy. It's a magnetic print surface for your 3D printer. So the Easy Peelsy team ran a very successful Kickstarter campaign that has since finished and they sell these online. To be honest, I really do like removable print surfaces. I've always said it, and actually a few months ago, I made my own DIY removable print surface using a learner magnetic plate, similar to this, except I used a thin sheet of steel. The Easy Peelsy, however, has a different approach. The, both the plates are flexible, and they magne magnetically attach to each other, but the top surface is a build tack like surface that the print directly adheres to. I decided to try these out on my Ender 3 because I accidentally damaged the fake build tack that these machines come with. The leveling switch on the Ender isn't too reliable on mine, so I damaged it, ripped it off, and decided to give this thing a go. And I've been printing on it for a few prints. The surface itself does say it can handle about 100 degrees for short intervals, but to be honest, I wouldn't recommend these flexible magnetic plates for anything above maybe 60 or 70 for a long period of time. The magnetic surface does lose magnetism at higher temperatures. But how well do they work? Well, getting a good first layer, of course, is critical, but because it adds a little bit of extra thickness, you will have to dial it differently to a normal thin sheet of build tack. Here's one I prepared earlier. So this is a death claw head printed on the Ender 3. I'm still having issues with stringing, but it's a PLA print. So let me demonstrate why flexible surfaces that are removable are so awesome. So the plate's off the printer and instead of getting a scraper and hacking at it, you basically just bend it. And the print just comes off like that. Easy peelsy lemon squeezely. Ugh. One thing I will point out is because this surface is kind of like build tack. You don't want the hot nozzle to dig into it. So getting that first layer, as I mentioned, is really important or you risk damaging the surface. Also, it's quite soft. So although it might be tempting to get the spatula and kind of have a go to get parts off, which you might have to do with stuff like the brim, uh, you will risk scratching and that, damaging that surface, which will then translate to your first layer. So I'm not sure how durable this will be over time, but if you make sure that first layer is okay and just flex it off without using any sharp, uh, sharp hard tools, you should get a lot more lifespan out of it. But what about other materials? PLA is fine, that's probably all I'll be using mine for, to be honest, but I decided to try PETG because I know a lot of you guys like to print with it. So my first test in PETG resulted in this. Uh, I did stop it because it was starting to warp off the edges. It was still sticking, but I didn't use enough bed temperature, this is at 50 degrees C, uh, whereas this print, which has been successful, was at 70 degrees C. Again, I wouldn't really recommend printing in ABS on this surface, because it's just too high of a temperature for this sort of magnetic surface, but uh, PETG seems to have stuck fine with 70 degree bed temp, and to get it off, it's just, it's so satisfying. You just lift it up from the corner, and just like the death claw head, successfully and satisfyingly peel it off. So satisfying. <laughs> Something you need to understand is the magnetic plates actually sort of key into place. This direction is clearly wrong and they're not sticking, but once you actually align the magnetic uh, zones of the, the surface, you can actually feel it kind of grabbing and it locks into place correctly. So conclusion time. Do I recommend the Easy Peelsy magnetic print surface? Well, yeah, um, at $100, it's about $17 Australian. I have no idea what it translates to in the US, but um, it's pretty cheap for a, for a print surface that you can reliably remove. I don't know how long it's gonna last. It's pretty obvious that in the prints, they do leave a, a bit of damage as they, every time they get removed, they leave a bit of an imprint on the surface. I don't know if over time that's gonna lead to the print surface failing, but I'll keep testing it. But the thing I need to mention is the Easy PLC team say that this is patent pending. However, if you go onto AliExpress and type in flexible magnetic print surface, there's loads of them. Um, and I know that Naomi of Sexy Cyborg fame has said that a lot of the companies in China and a lot of people in China are now using these flexible print surfaces. So 
Look, I don't know who came up with it first. Quite frankly, I don't care. But if you're looking for a really convenient way to remove prints, to just flex them off without scraping at your bed, which I hate doing, then yeah, I would actually recommend this product. So there's links in the, in the description below where you can buy them. And as always on Makers Muse, this has been an unbiased review. They just sent me the products. Um, I actually, they sent it to me before their campaign even started on Kickstarter and now it's finished. So sorry about that guys, but I do like it. and I will be using it on my PLA printers, which don't have removable plates. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, I would love to have you subscribe. It is my aim to empower your creativity through technology. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Mm.